For the last several years, there's been a lot of talk about gender disparities in medicine. From gaps in pay to gender gaps in representation and specialties, it's clear that women are treated differently than men in many areas of medicine. The fact that women are paid less than men for doing the same job is just one glaring example of how far we, as a medical community, have allowed this to go. A new study published this last week in Circulation showed that this gender gap, particularly in cardiology subspecialties such as EP and interventional cardiology, is vast and must be addressed. Study authors used the AAMC database to determine the gender of trainees in accredited training programs from 2017 to 2018 and compared it to the previous decade. According to the study, 21% of cardiology trainees were women and almost 80% were men. In interventional cardiology and EP, the numbers were even more disparate, with women accounting for only 10% and 11% respectively. Sadly, even though many have been aware of these disparities for over a decade, there was really little change when these numbers were compared to data from the previous decade. We're doing no better. Of note, only orthopedic surgery had a higher gender disparity rate than cardiology and all of its subspecialties. In my career, I've had the good fortune to meet and work with many amazing female cardiologists who are not only exceptional clinicians, but also exceptional researchers and leaders and innovators. From Minna Walsh, the former president of the American College of Cardiology, to Martha Gulati of social media fame, to Dr. Susie Figoski, an EP doctor at Iowa Heart, women continue to make an enormous impact in my field and in my life. Every one of these accomplished cardiologists and other female physicians in other specialties have impacted my own personal development, some through research collaboration, some through mentorship, some through activities in professional societies, and all through their friendships. As a medical community, we must do more to recognize and to develop female physicians, as evidenced by the sustained gender gap in cardiology when comparing the last year to the previous decade we clearly are not doing enough. I believe that we must work together to provide better mentorship programs for women in medicine. That not only start in medical school, but extend through residency, fellowship, and well into mid-career. Medical societies, medical boards, editorial boards, and hospital system administration must recognize talented female physicians and place them in well-deserved leadership positions. As individual physicians, we must all work towards a culture of equality and acceptance. In my opinion, to do nothing to advocate for our talented female colleagues is just as abhorrent as actively discriminating against females in medicine. We must cultivate a culture of inclusiveness as male physicians, and we must continue to represent the hashtag, hashtag he for she.